On Monday the 2nd of September 2019, a private briefing took place in Westminster to explain how the European Union is taking over the United Kingdom's defence and intelligence capabilities by stealth. As Major General Julian Thompson explains, the briefing was about the loss of control over our defence, security and intelligence as a result of agreements which were made by British ministers and officials since the UK voted to leave and then placed into the various exit deals, the withdrawal agreement and political declaration. For the first time, this information is being fully revealed to the public. Joining all these structures tie our defence and defence industries to the EU's rules and policies for defence and would do so by legal binding treaty. Thus under EU law, structurally, politically, diplomatically and financially tied into and subordinated to the defence architecture of an unaccountable body, the EU Commission. The EU Commission is not elected, British voters cannot change it at the polling booths, and yet, the May government has been prepared to hand over the first duty of any government, the defence of its people, territory and vital interests, to them. So like a spider's web, to touch one part is to be trapped under the strategic control of the global strategy in the EU's common security and foreign policy. But the threat is also economic. Mrs May's withdrawal agreement closes opportunities for British shipyards and defence industry by removing exclusivity rights for the British industry. Thousands of jobs are stake here and May's deal keeps the UK in the EU defence directives for years to come, even beyond transition. In other words, unless these commitments are explicitly cancelled and removed from any deal with the EU, we will be tied into them even after we leave the European Union. I even heard somebody the other day tell me they want the UK's independent nuclear deterrent for the whole of the European Union. Do you want your grandchildren to be sent into danger by people you can't vote out? You know, if the EU is responsible for committing our soldiers, sailors, airmen and marines and it goes wrong, uh, who's accountable for the consequences? Not them. Actually, it's the families back here, and the taxpayer back here, and the safety of our country. Do you want to control the security of your country, or don't you, people? Further video clips and full briefings will be available soon. Please subscribe to the Great Brexit Debates YouTube channel to watch them. A link is in the video description. And please share this video now to help alert as many people as possible to this grave threat. Thank you.